How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel and to my review of the G.I. Joe Classified series, Major Blood. This bad boy is really, really hard to come by. Thanks, American friends, for helping me get my greedy hands on it. Cool artwork on the front, as we're used to seeing. Got a little picture of Major Blood down there in the corner. On the other side here, we got more Major Blood, unique to the character artwork. On the back, well, it's just the usual Cobra Island. It, it would be so much cooler if there was a picture of the figure and then a bio or something like that, but I've talked about this before. They were like, Nyet. And then this side also has some things that are supposed to be defining characteristics about Major Blood, like he's apparently very good at chess and fixing stuff, and he shoots missiles, and uh, he kills people for money. Figure number 27 in the series. Honestly, I collected Joes as a kid, but I never had Major Blood, and I really don't know that much about him, but let's open him up together and have a little looksy doodle at him. Ah, stupid tape. And here's what the inside looked like, just in case you were wondering what that was all about. That looks cool. All right, here it is all out. Hold on, let me just uh, get this all set up, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, and now he's all out of the package. Him, his helmet, his backpack, his two projectiles. They look like missiles, but I'm not entirely sure what they are. They actually fit right here in the backpack. There's a slot for both of them. He's also got this firearm, and I think that these projectiles actually go in here. That just seems weird. Is that like a, a missile pistol? And much like both of these projectiles, the pistol can also be stored right on the backpack, just like that. And Major Blood also comes with this really, really large revolver. The cool thing with Major Blood, just like the rest of the Joes, is all of his stuff is stowed or stored on him. So of course the helmet fits right there on his head. The backpack can be stored right on his back and worn like, well, a backpack. And his obscenely huge revolver can also be stored right there in the holster at the side of his leg. Oh, that's a nice tight fit. <clears throat> Just like that. Now, technically, I could consider these here dog tags from all of the previous Joes that he's taken out to be an accessory, but really, it came on the figure like this, and you would never really want to pose him around without these so I really just think of this as the same as the armor that he's wearing. It's not part of the initial mold of the figure, but I wouldn't really consider it to be an accessory either. So overall, as usual, as you can see here, a very self-contained figure. Everything that you get travels with the figure itself, which is always a plus with these G.I. Joe figures. All the way around, this is a very cool looking figure. It's understandable why this figure was so demanded. For one, there really wasn't a whole lot as far as new characters being released at the time when this one came out. So a lot of demand just for something new was the first reason. Number two, it was obscenely hard to get based on the fact that it's a Target exclusive. So that means if you don't got a Target in your area, you're not going to get it. But aside from that, it's such a unique looking character. You have that robotic arm on this side. I wasn't even aware he had a robotic arm. I can't even remember the original figure having a robotic arm. The figure is painted and sculpted, as usual, very, very nicely. Very cool looking figure. Knee pads, textured pants, really rad looking gun holster there, as we've already seen. You've got the boots with the weathered, beat up shin guards, the metal toe kicks right down here at the bottom. These look like biker boots, essentially. Major Blood strikes me as some kind of, like, biker character. I mean, just looking at that helmet right there, he looks like he needs to be riding on a great big hog or something like that. And, as usual, Hasbro is just killing it with the head sculpt game because, for one, it's sculpted really nicely. Two, it's painted well enough for a mass-produced figure. The paint is on the scars and the mustache pretty much where it's supposed to be, so no complaints here. This isn't painted by a customizer, so these they have to paint so many of these figures in a day. Personally, I think it's a small miracle when they even get the eyes painted correctly. As for how well Major Blood is articulated, we all know what the G.I. Joe classified series has. They've got the ball joints right there in the groin, they got the drop hinges, they got the thigh cut, they've all got these double jointed knees that crunch up amply, they've got top of the boot articulation, they've got the hinges with the ankle pivots. In the torso, he does have an ab crunch as well, as well as a waist that is rounded. And then in the upper arms here, of course, he's got the butterfly, he's got the rounded hinge, he's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, 
Oh, I kind of thought that was going to crunch just a little bit more, but still, that's better than 90 degrees, so someone like me, I'm definitely happy. And he's got hinges in the wrists. Oh, well, this one's kind of tight. Okay, let's do it. Let's hope it doesn't break. Oh, it is moving. There's just not a lot of space for it to go anywhere. Now, for the robotic side of things, there's this piece of shoulder armor that actually sits on the shoulder like this. It's not actually attached to the body. It's attached to the arm. So when you want to move his arm up, it just moves up like that. He's got a bicep swivel as well, double jointed elbow. Oh, well that one crunches a lot better. And then for the wrist, he's got this robotic wrist and it actually matches. <laughs> that looks really good for what it's supposed to be. And of course, as usual, Major Blood's got his head on a ball joint that, as you can see along the back here, also has a little hinge. So if you wanted to get him in any kind of, you know, extreme jumping poses or whatever, or lunge poses, you can do that because he has all the articulation that you'd think he would need. And finally, I'm sure that you've all seen this figure in comparison to the original one before, but I've got to put the original one side by side with him and say, you know what, there are some fairly large differences between the original Major Blood and this one, but he's actually a pretty good modern update to the character. What do you think? You've got to be the judge of this yourself, but personally, and my final word on this character, this figure from Hasbro's G.I. Joe Classified series, will be that I think that they did a pretty darn awesome job with this character. Just looking at him purely as a characterial additive to the line of figures, I think he's a fantastic choice. I think that Hasbro has done a great job on this figure, and I'm, I'm super stoked that I finally managed to get my hands on him. But anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hopefully you found this review to be an interesting, insightful, useful waste of time for the time being when, whenever you watched it. And I will see you with the next one. Have a fantastic day, everybody and take care.